Okay, now I can't be the only one who grew up with the good old Barney song of clean up, clean up, everybody clean up. You know, some people just straight up need the robot chicken treatment of that song. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash trashy because on top of the world being a horrible place, getting ever so closer to idiocracy being a live action documentary, we're also getting freaking Wally too. But if you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more content like this in the near future because unfortunately this garbage pile is indefinitely getting bigger be sure to hit that like button leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions and if you have not already subscribed to the channel turn on them notifications okie dokie don't if with me i'll shoot first and ask questions later dude you got a strap and a streak there I, I look if i get hit with one of your bullets it's gonna do damage over time from blood poisoning on a side note for some reason they keep on thinking this is one of those guys that you know for a fact is waiting for the day of this where somebody will ask Hey, you got a thing in there, or are you just happy to see me? You know that dude is just waiting to jump at that. Like, this is a dude with a prosthetic arm waiting to be asked the phrase, Buzz, can you give me a hand level kind of excited. Ah, the Vagatarian, yes, uh, definitely. Is it bad that the first thing I thought of was like, okay, well, he's that, I'm a cancer, I don't know what the star signs really are, but then I realized, oh yeah, that is very much not a star sign kind of horoscope thing. I think maybe as soon as I saw this, I remembered the word Sagittarius, but I don't know, my head has a lot of vacant space in there. Look, just a little word of advice for for anybody wanting to put kind of a whole F off kind of vibe on the back of your truck, don't do that and then it be one of those dum-dums that hangs out in the left lane going five under. If your truck is in a bad enough of a shape where you cannot pass cars on the left, stay in the right lane, please. Uh, no liars in heaven. Yeah, I can't even say that second part. Yeah, no, nothing like quite uh, like a rural Georgia bathrooms. Yeah, remind me to always take a direct flight to Florida and not drive so I don't have to go through f Georgia. <laughs> like, I think honestly, myself the next time I go to Florida I just want to go down there for the Florida car show and that they have this nice Cuban place which I believe was called Havana 357 the place that made me a sucker for Cuban sandwiches okay so as somebody who's been a part of the car community for a while I've gone to a whole bunch of different shows and seen a whole bunch of different things I got no idea what the hell I'm looking at did somebody taxidermy a Furby over a Prius like I know for a fact that there are some cars that you see that are just an out of the world kind of look like you have Bosozokus with the six foot tall exhaust pipes, you have Itashas with the anime girls, and then you have off-roading trucks where you see how big of a tire you can fit without a lift. But I legitimately have no idea what in the world I am looking at. In search of a very temporary summer boyfriend for a wedding season, please apply if you fit the criteria, which are as follows. One, must be my type. I only date felons, tattoo artists, skater boys, dealers, and sad boys. Two, uh, must have deep psychological issues. I can't relate to people who haven't had some life traumas to a halfway degree as me. Three, uh, will not consider if you drink Bud Light. I don't trust people who drink that piss water, want to be 21 years old again beer. Four, no Sagittarius, or if your name starts with a D, hate you already. Reply to this post and I will forward you my email to where you must send me an eight slide PowerPoint presentation as to why I should consider you a $500 application fee required, I will accept via Venmo. You know, last I checked, if you're doing the whole rent-a-boyfriend thing, or if you're doing, you know, any type of rental thing, you usually give the money to whoever or whatever you are freaking renting. A lot of me wants to really hope that this is just a joke post, but then again, there's like a small portion of me that actually thinks that this person is serious, uh, because, uh, I at first I had thought that the beer one was weird, but then the whole you can't have be born during a certain month or have your names start with a certain letter. Uh, um, what? You know what? Good luck. Ah, uh, yes. Skull seatbelt silencers, cause you know, those pesky alarms that let you know, hey, dingus, if you get in a wreck, you fly through the windshield. Ah, uh, those things are such a pain nowadays. It's a blaring alarm, so you know, whoever made this, I definitely applaud you. Such an innovative design and feature. Just watch the majority demographic of the people that buy this be the type of people that have the sticker on the back of their truck that says, no seatbelts, we die like real men. I do kind of wish that there was like a compilation of all the people that buy these and then they get pulled over for not having their seatbelt on and I just want to see them try to fiddle to put the seatbelt in a hole that's already filled by this thing. Is your tongue game not strong? Then at least make your meme game strong. 
Download Meme Chat. Why do I get the feeling that that is one of those games or one of those applications that's gonna give my device chlamydia? Also, I can't be the only one seeing that top logo, right? You know, doing this is like the gas station equivalent of starting to drink your drink before you buy it in the checkout line, because honestly, everybody at the register is not gonna like you because uh, just it don't sit right with you. It's like you pick out the one, imagine if it was the right one, it's like, all right, I wanna buy this one now. If anybody actually has this happen to them, um, like if somebody were to scratch it off beforehand, are you not allowed to do the transaction for it, even if it's the winning one? MP says he may have opened uh, off-brand by mistake. You know, come to think of it, though, in Britain, it probably is one of the only places you could accidentally do that, because there is the British Broadcasting Channel, and, uh, you know, there is also another acronym for that, which I can't even show the acronym, because that's a demonetization word on YouTube. So, I mean, like, it, it totally is possible to happen, but, dude... Did it, though? I'm just gonna be pretty honest, dude. I'm gonna press X for doubt. This six-foot mark to make sure no boy under six foot walks in. Oh, yes, body shaming. One of the original of trashiness. Only thing I'm really thinking of is, like, you better not be one of those dum-dums where you think this only goes one way. Don't be upset when he pulls out a scale and you get a big old pouty face going on. Don't even think to be one of those people where you can think you can dish out something, but you don't have to take any of it. Hey, well, you look at that. It's just like having to go to the gym. If you want them gains, you gotta work for it. But yeah, seriously, please do not steal products. It does result in us employees having to resort to means like this. I think it's one of my deleted kids' birthday today. Happy birthday, Stank. Mommy loved you. It's the mommy loved you for me. Took me out. Wait, so let me see if I got this straight. You went fetus deletus and still wish the kid a happy birthday. What? Asian Doll said she only dates killers and you need at least three people unalived to date her. Look now, I, I know that in society there are a lot of dating standards that people sometimes see as a little bit outlandish, like a person could be absolutely everything, but then the person that they're seeing likes everything about them except they're a little bit short. Yet now, this one, this one kind of takes the cake on all of those. Yeah, just imagine their turn-ons be, I like long walks on the beach, I like to go hiking, and uh, in order to date me, you need to have at least unlived three people. Megan Fox confirms that she and Machine Gun Kelly drink each other's blood. Hey, isn't that how vampires go blind? Giving my six-month-old baby Kool-Aid to see how he reacts. Ah, uh, yes, because you know, it's always a great life decision to find out how something reacts to your own baby. Really couldn't have just chucked this one up to a Google search. Nope, you had to do it for those internet points and find out how this will actually affect your baby. It's only a super sugary drink given to a six-month-old. That can't end up being an absolute dumpster fire of a decision. Whoever keeps pissing in the elevator, just know you are a disgusting, pathetic loser and are in the bottom 0.001% of humans and deserve to have your teeth kicked in. I sincerely hope you have a terrible day and that you get caught with your puny little pecker out one day and you get knocked out and wake up in a puddle of your stinky piss. F you. I don't know how bad some people have to go, but if this wasn't an apartment complex like don't people have them in their own rooms like the facilities to be able to make sure that this in the elevator is not an issue because i could imagine that if this sign is being put up then this isn't just you saw it one time and you put up this must be some kind of repeat piss offender if i was black i'd be picking cotton but i'm white so i'm picking you for prom i have i know i've seen something like this in the past but that was because it's the phrase itself why why do so many people think that this is an excellent way to get your date to go to prom with you. This very much does not make any sense in any way whatsoever, nor is it a justifiable thing. It's just, it's messed up. Ball busting Nana. You know, that's the one thing I gotta admit I love about r slash trashy. When you think you've seen it all, it just comes in like Billy Mays and says, but wait, there's more. Hey, has anybody seen this person? Been missing since payday Friday. Phone is off and is not turned up to see his kids again after promising them a cinema date Saturday. He hasn't seen them in over a week and we are off on holiday tomorrow. They would like to see their dad before we go instead of being sent to voicemail. Likely to be found spending their child maintenance money on getting a CW's drunk for an easy lay. He knows my number. If uh, anyone is with him, get him to contact me. Thanks, Hans. Way to go posting this as missing mongrel that'll totally get him to show up but with that that is going to have to be it with the video if you guys would love to be absolutely
absolutely amazing. Show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future. Be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications. Maybe check out another video or two even. That'd be darn dandy of you. But with that, I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.